Black women, why don't we get married? So um, people are either going to like this topic or they're not. Um, again, my concept of this show is to change the conversation um, around Black relationships, and I'm going to do that every week, whether people like it or not. Um, this was inspired by a clip that I saw um, that I'm going to play shortly, and it was where a um, Black woman was speaking over another video of uh, several different white women from a graduating class that were showing their engagement rings. And she goes into a number of factors why she believes um, Black women are not getting married at the rate of white women. A group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is it not the reality for Black women? I know y'all not going to like what I got to say, but you know me, I'm going to say it anyways. First and foremost, Black women are above reproach. If it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior, we don't want to hear. Instead, we'll say, well, men do it too. Secondly, we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship. Well, they get cheated on. Well, they do this. Well, they do that. But then we have all these standards for men and we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of our hurt while inadvertently telling them to go to therapy we do not practice what we preach thirdly the independent woman is a myth actually cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy you would not have all these standards to negate your independence nobody wants to relinquish power find every excuse in the world to not be submissive and wonder why white women can get away with their bad behavior. We take everything bad from white women except for the fact using marriage to our own benefit. But you'll run to the child support office though. Get equality against men and the only time we actually want to be equal to men is when it comes to degenerate behavior, hypersexuality, abusing or abandoning children. Even when it comes to the gold digger conversation. What you don't see those other women do, even when they are just screwing men for money, is bashing men and inadvertently making men feel like they're not important. Also too, telling them that they don't need men. Psychologically, we have been taught to disassociate ourselves. And even in that Malcolm X quote where he says the black woman is the most disrespected, he also says to be near your man. I'm I'm actually going to take a moment to say that I sit here with a different perspective um, because of my life experience. Um, my life experience is not that of a Black American woman, and a lot of these videos speak to the Black American woman experience, of which I am not. I am a Jamaican-born woman who grew up in Toronto, Canada, who's had the privilege of uh, spending some time in the U.S. with um, my husband and um, my ex-fiance, my now ex-fiance. Um, and so I've had experiences in the U.S. as a Black woman, but I am not what you would call a Black American woman. And I think it is probably a unique perspective that I will not pretend that I understand, but I will say that I Black women generally dating, um, being in a marriage, um, being in long-term, you know, committed relationships. I think a lot of things that this young lady just said is um, interesting. And I'm going to start with the um, independent Black woman concept. In my book, uh, No Handouts for Black Girls, let me just scroll on over here so you can see the book again. Any chance I get, I'm going to plug my book. Um, so in my book, uh, No Handouts for Black Girls, I talk about the myth of the um, independent Black woman. And I talk about the fact that it is our kryptonite. It is something that has been um, passed on to us, but it is not something that we should Hold on like it's a, it's a badge of honor. I think one of the things that is being used is that I am independent and therefore I don't need anyone. A woman who truly desires independence doesn't want dependence. They don't want anybody depending on them. They want to do life alone. And so when you hear women say that I am, I'm an independent black woman, it's actually a defense mechanism to not deal with the fact that they are alone despite not wanting to be alone. And I talk about in the book where it's like, we feel as if white women had cornered um, 
the market on vulnerability, which left us nothing. We had to be independent.